My name is Ashley Kelly, and I'll be bringing you the Endgame Rio 2016 YouTube series by the athlete for the athlete. Every athlete has a story. They all have a different struggle, but they all have the same goal. And this year, the Endgame is Rio. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching. This week I had the opportunity to go to the Army Invitational, not as an athlete but as a press correspondent and I had so much fun. Watching all the stellar performances and talking to amazing athletes was just a blast. So if you want to see more of my coverage from this week, stay tuned. So tell me about your race today. How did it go? Um, it went pretty well. I got out good. Just sat behind the pacer, let her pull me through the first 400, and then third hundred, or no, third 300, no, third 200. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to just focus on staying awake, staying in the race, and continuing to push the pace that she set for us. So um, I felt someone coming up on my shoulder a little bit, and just decided to keep it strong, keep it as tight as possible, and then the last lap, um, just slowly, gradually pick it up. Yeah. That last 100 was a killer. Yeah, really I, I did. Mean, How did that feel? Was that I something that someone, you're working on in practice? Yeah, we're definitely working on making sure I finish all of my races. Um, sometimes I kind of get comfortable and don't drive all the way through, but I felt someone coming up on the last 100 and just had to switch gears really quickly and uh, power through the last part. Okay, so what's next for you? Next is Moro, so I'll be back here in two weeks. Okay, and are you looking forward to indoor na indoor nationals and indoor worlds? Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to get a top two finish at nationals and make the team. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be super fun since it's in the U.S. and uh, my mom will be able to come over, my coach, and hopefully my other teammates make it as well. So it, it should be a great season if we all oh, awesome. do as great as we want to. So you had a good. 2015 season, you know, it ended maybe how you wanted, but that's it behind you. How did you motivate yourself to come into 2016? Um, I kind of did just that. I took what I could from uh, the injury and learned from it and just learned to be more proactive and taking care of myself and recovery and kind of preventing any type of injury, just staying strong. So um, I wouldn't say go as far as to say it was a blessing in disguise, but it served its purpose. Unfortunately, the timing wasn't great, but uh, it just made me hungry for this year. So tell me about your performance today. How do you feel about it? Um, I feel, see, at first I was frustrated because I'm naturally very competitive. But then, like, after talking with coach and stuff, like, I realized, okay, there's certain technical components of the jump that I'm getting right. And so it might make me go backwards as far as the distance. But, um, but like, as far as the technique, like, there's certain things I need to fix and I was, I'm getting closer and closer to fixing them. So I feel, I feel satisfied. Okay, and you changed, this is your first year of pro, you just graduated college. How is the transition feeling so far? Um, the transition has been has been a little bit rough because I had to switch coaches. And, and so it's been a little, it's, it's, I'm transitioning well now, but at first it was a little difficult switching programs and everything. But I think I'm adjusting to it better now, and so I just need a little more time to get used to it. In addition to just not being in college anymore, you're also working full time. So how is that affecting training and how do you feel about it now that you're not out of school? Actually, it's easier. <laughs> it's easier than it was in school because school, like, I mean, going to Columbia, the academic load is just intense. And so, like, now working, my boss is a very, like, like, you know, flexible as far as allowing me to train and come in and maybe if I need a day off or something like that if I'm too tired. They're okay with that. So it's actually much, much easier. So I think I like it better now than I did while I was in college. Great. What are you looking forward to this year? Um, this year I'm looking forward to just, you know, things getting coming together, you know, and getting hitting big PRs and Olympics and you know, just just finally jumping like I think I'm capable of jumping. The women's four by two invitational saw three international teams, Guyana, USA and France. 
Team Guyana's Khadisia Baird, Alita Moore, Shanika King, and Melissa Cato won with a time of 1 minute and 37 seconds to set Guyana's national record over Team USA's Jasmine Sullivan, JC Parker, Francina Evans, and Rachel Williams. Congratulations, Guyana. In the men's 4x2 Invitational, we had a full field of Jamaica, USA, Dominican Republic, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, and France. Jamaica's Kevin Thompson, Rayon Lawrence, Raymond Lewis, Brashawn Clark, all won with a time of 1 minute and 25 seconds, setting Jamaica's national record. Other national records were set by Guyana with a time of 1 minute and 27 seconds, and Trinidad and Tobago with a time of 1 minute and 29 seconds. I'm Andre Wilson, 800 meter runner from the US, and the end game is Rio. 